Okay. There's a little mark, mark here. And when you're done, you just take them out. If it's longer than 30 seconds, like 33.47 seconds, there's a giant spanking hand that just oh. flies you out of <laughs> Just keep in mind the time. We are, we are going to, you know, see everybody do their best 30 seconds. And everybody comes up to me and says, Philip, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know how much I can do in 30 seconds. I said, look, there's a lot you can do in 30 seconds. Just ask my girlfriend. <laughs> 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 we don't need sound checks anymore. <laughs> so, because everybody gets so mad at that joke, I'm going to show you some proof of what a 30 second slammer can do. This person that you're going to see is now in Scary Movie 5. She did a 30 second monologue, then she got into the first set, and now she's in Scary Movie 5. You're going to see the trailer of the movie, Sponsorship plug. And yeah. then her 30 second slam monologue, which was pretty badass. Yeah, it was pretty ready, Nick? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Get to the bottom of this quick. I was told you needed a dream extraction. But how do we know who's a witch? Well, that's simple. The monster. Ah! What time is it? Bad leg time. Scary movie. Oh my god! Yeah! I love to do a monologue for a famous producer. Are you kidding? What about the news? Just go on. So, okay, sure. I'm sorry, what?
We did it as a team effort. Unfortunately, the team did not come with a super, a plumber, or a secretary. I put calls through to the wrong rooms. Jack sprained his ankle going up the stairs with luggage. And we had little yellow posters all over the place to remind us of the wake-up calls. We had so many interesting guests over the years. They, they wouldn't tell me anything if I asked, and of course I wouldn't. But a room diary? Well, now that's different. It's full of personal information and private thoughts and hopes and fears and dreams. It's a good read. I said, um, why 
why is my personal issues a big joke to you? It's like, everybody has their own way to find themselves. Why is your way better than my way? <laughs> she said, hmm, you don't have to make this into a this logical thing. I was like, okay, okay, okay. So we had a fight right there in the streets. And then left. And the amazing thing is, uh, I
million dollar signing bonus because I took a suit from some booster to go to this kid's wedding. I didn't even know the guy. I mean, what's the brother supposed to do in college, huh? He got no money, got no job. He just want to go out, get some nice clothes, go on a date. I mean, everybody had their hand out, but it was me that got suspended. And the coaches wanted to label me, oh, he's arrogant. He's troublemaker. He don't want to play no ball. Talk about sacrifice. I sacrificed $10 million because the dumb rednecks like your coaching friend in San Diego wanted to make me a quarterback. Because he says I got quick feet. He's the one who messed up my shoulder, man. He had me out there tackling 300 pound motherfuckers. Man, I don't do that shit. I was a great quarterback, but nobody wanted to give me the time of day of season to let my shoulder hit. They just traded me out of there. Man, who the fuck do you think you're talking to, huh? Half my football career is over. You want me to go back to the bench to sacrifice for the great glory of Cap Rooney? Then fuck you, coach. Yeah!